Detroit Tigers hosting the Cleveland Guardians. The Guardians are minus 165 on the money line. The Tigers are plus 140. The over under is seven and a half runs. Cleveland laying a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. The Tigers getting a run and a half are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Bieber has pitched twice against the Tigers this year. Seven innings, three runs, two earned, they lost four to two. Eight innings, one run, one earned, they won eight to one. Pineda hasn't pitched against the Guardians this year, but he did pitch against them last year. Three innings, no runs, no earned, they won five to two. Now, Cleveland's on a three-game losing streak. They are 20 and 22 on the road. They are 10 and 5 as a team with Bieber on the mound, and they under is 9 and 6 in the games that he's pitched. The Tigers are on a three-game winning streak. They are 22 and 24 at home. They are 3 and 3 as a team with Pineda on the mound, and the under is 6 and 0 in the games that he's pitched in. The Tigers are on a four-game winning streak against Cleveland. The home team is on a four-game winning streak. The underdog Getting a run and a half is six and four in their last 10. The under is five, four and one in their last 10 games. The over under at seven and a half is five and five. The home team is seven and three. Cleveland is 63 and 24 against uh, the Tigers in their last seven, uh, 87 games. And Cleveland is 41 and 20 in Detroit. There have been two one run games in their last 10 meetings. Now, because Cleveland has been playing so well behind Bieber, I'm going Cleveland with the money line, Detroit with the runs, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. Please bet responsibly.